Hi guys, Rebecca Creates here with a super late VR for my girl Soleil, who is Soleil and Craft here on YouTube. About a month ago, she announced um, an embellishment box challenge giveaway and she's in Australia. So I'm hoping this will get there in time. It may not, which is fine, um, but I still wanted to show support. So she's doing this challenge where you send an embellishment box and then for extras, you could send her some ros rosettes or some ephemera with images. Um, and like I said, she is overseas in Australia, but she's going to have three winners. And I believe that the drawing for the winners was going to be December 10th. So considering how late it is, I mean, by the time you guys see this, it will be in the mail already, but it's Thanksgiving week. So I don't know if this will get there in the next two weeks, but we'll see. So late, if it doesn't get there in time, that's totally fine to do the drawing without me. I did want to show support. Um, you guys who follow me know I love to support other crafty YouTubers and it's never about the prize for me. It is about showing support and just having fun with the crafting. So I used Busy Sidewalks, which was a Christmas, um, a crepe paper Christmas pad that I recently hauled. And I did this kind of, I did a um, pocket letter recently with this same kind of layout where I cut some of this um, snowy like drape stuff from Dollar Tree that's glittery. And I just kind of make these snowy hills. And then I die cut some Christmas trees and tucked them there behind. Um, and then I put one of the ephemera from the set that looks like this little taxi cab. And I thought that was perfect because um, with Soleil being overseas and I'm in New York, taxi cab is like classic New York image. So I thought that was the perfect thing to put on it. And then one of these little reindeer stickers with a tiny little bling nose. So he looks like Rudolph. And then I just put some gold trim around the frame. And I did some gold edging around the, the paper itself. On the outside of the box, I just made this cute little tassel. This Christmas collection is kind of hard to match up because it's not pink. It's like a peachy color. And then it has the classic red and greens. So I just made this little tassel. She can actually take this tassel apart and use some of the ribbons on, on you know, some of her embellishments and things. And a little dangle um, that says Mary. This was in my stash from a swap I did. And a little Hobby Lobby bulb there. So that's just a little dangle. On the inside, I just lined the inside with some more paper and I put my Rebecca Creates stamp on it. And so some of the basics, of course I had to make some resin bows. I tried to do that peachy color and then some mint green ones. Um, what else? There's some of my flowers. So I made some red, white, and uh, a peachy one in there. There's another red one. This is just a little pipe cleaner reef I made. There's some binder rings that match this one that I used. They're one inch colorful ones. I love those. Um, what else? There's some trim here in that peachy color. Um, these are some tiny little erasers and what I did was add some of those little stickers those little foam stickers and I put the little bling nose on them so she could use those on a project. I tried to make everything as flat as possible to fit in the little compartments um, so that, you know, that I could get as much in there. I put some of these tiny little Santa hats as embellishments, um, a tiny little jar full of these cute little diamond dots in this pretty peachy color that just matched nicely with the, the colors in the paper pad. So there's a little jar of that. There's some of my pinch bows here, tiny little ones, and then some bigger ones, a little tiny paper clip with a bow. So, oh my gosh, you move one thing and then it won't. <laughs> then in these two compartments, there's just some fun like beads. There's a little um, snowman bead I made. There's like little charms different little metal charms like this is a little Christmas gift just a bunch of fun charms and beads and things some snowflake brads this is a jingle bell with um, a snowflake pattern on it um, little candy cane some jingle bells just a bunch of little fun knickknacks for her then I filled up the last compartment down here with some of those like um, iridescent like disco ball beads I don't know what the official name for them is, but I tried to find colors that matched the collection. Then the last thing here was 
um, a sequin mix that I made with the peaches and the reds um, for her. It just has a lot of fun things. There's some little gingerbread men in there. So there's that in the long compartment. And then this was a charm I got from Hobby Lobby. Oh, I have the little... It's one of these fairy tale charms. So Hobby Lobby puts these 50% off all the time. So I hauled a bunch of these little um, spoon looking ones so that she could use it as a, a mix for the sequin, like a, a mixer for the sequin mix. And I just put a tiny little bulb bead and a little star charm on it. And I put some of those same little beads in these compartments so she has extras. So that's everything in the little embellishment box I made for her. I did pack up some of the ephemera cut aparts from that paper collection. Um, I put some vellum ephemera that came with the set and then this is a gold um, like thickers from the collection as well. It says cozy are we and it has a snowflake there. So just a bunch of pieces she can use if she wants to make some tags or embellishments with them. And this is going to be in the mail to you, Soleil. Like I said, if it doesn't get there in time, it's totally fine to do the draw without waiting for it. Because from the States here in New York to Australia and with the holidays upon us, I don't know how long it'll take to get there. But I did want to send it to you and I did want you to enjoy it. And I did want to shout out your channel. So guys, if you don't have time to join her challenge because it is very close to the deadline at least please go over and show her some crafty support her channel's amazing she does project shares um just all kinds of videos she's such a sweetheart and her voice is just so adorable it's like so soothing i love to just play her videos um as i'm crafting on the weekends <laughs> and it's just kind of soothing like i'm sitting there listening to her videos and and crafting so um hopefully you like this soleil like i said it'll be in the mail um this week all right, let me know what you guys think. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.